Greetings once again. I'm Warren Litzman in Dallas, Texas, ready to talk to you about Jesus Christ. Hope you have your Bible handy. We're studying in chapter 6 of Romans, which is the most important chapter for somebody coming to know the Lord. And I'm going to bear out some of the things that I think are important as I go through these lines and verses that God might speak to hearts worldwide. This broadcast goes worldwide. If anybody has opened up their computer and has come to our webpage, they can get this broadcast. Pray that they do it. We're studying in Romans 6, and we've reached verse 3. I've just talked about the first three words of verse 3. We say, Know ye not. Now, this, this is sort of the Apostle Paul saying, all the other stuff you know is secondary. Everything else you think is secondary. Here's something you better know. You better know. You can know it. And I'll show it to you. Here's what you need to know. Verse 3, Romans 6 says, Know ye not that so many of us as were baptized into Christ... Don't stop right there. We're not talking about water baptism. I have never talked about water cake, water baptism on this broadcast, and I won't start now. You say, don't you believe in it? At times. But my leader, the Apostle Paul, quit baptizing for a very important reason. He saw what people see today, that if they're not baptized, they're not really following the Lord. And Paul said, I can't do that. I can't preach a gospel that Christ lives in the human being. It's not up to him to follow the Lord. It's too late. Christ lives in him. Christ is in him to give him wisdom and knowledge and understanding. And he says, therefore, I don't have to baptize any of them to help them reach a juncture. What more do you need than Christ in you? What more could you possibly have as a Christian but any greater than Christ in you? Are you following me? Whenever the Father planned to put Christ in every believing sinner, it was his decision that this is the greatest thing I can do for him. This is the most important thing I can do for them. I'll take my most priceless possession and share him with them because they are becoming family members and they need the spirit of the family. They need the anointing of the family. They need to have an understanding of the family they're coming into. So he talked about being baptized into Christ Jesus. Baptized, what does that mean? That means put under knowledge that has put all other knowledges under for the simple knowledge that Christ lives in me and He is my life. We're in baptized. Why were we baptized into Christ? Why didn't He say everybody will go out and join a church and get baptized in water? And I said that wrong because you can't get in the average church today until you are saved and you can't be baptized till you decide that this is a church you're going to live in. So the scripture says, how shall we that are dead to sin live any longer? We need Christ. We're going to talk about death and this baptism in this verse. 
But I want you to get the idea that baptism is going completely under. You were baptized into Christ completely. 100%. You went under. He says so many of us as were baptized into Christ. He didn't say all of us. But everyone that's saved is baptized into Christ. Everyone that is saved has this baptism into Christ. You don't know what all that means, do you? You were baptized into his body. You were baptized into his family. You were baptized into into his knowledge, his new mind. You were baptized into his new mind. What's it saying here? It's saying, as many of us as were baptized into Christ. Now, maybe you didn't know that happened when you got saved. You were placed in Christ. And Christ was placed in you. You can't be in one without the other. You understand that? It's like putting a sock in the, in the water. The sock goes into the water, and the water goes into the sock. Christ goes into you, and you go into Christ. Somebody said, well, I think we've all... Uh, going into Christ, but I haven't seen Christ coming in the dear friend. In Christ is the number one statement in the Bible. Means what it says. You are in Christ. <coughs> you were baptized into Christ. I remember back years ago when I was a baptizing pastor. I'd have trouble getting some people all the way under the water. And it was a, a concern to me. Some of them were uh, large people, and I couldn't get them completely ducked. Some of them were real small people who didn't want to get wet. And I had one I well remember that I had to set on to keep them in water long enough to say they were baptized. I don't have to do that anymore. God prepared people for the Christ life. He did all that at the cross. So now Paul says, it isn't water baptism. He baptized some, but quit. He knew that was harmful to their spiritual growth. And so now he says, this is necessary that you know that you've been baptized, placed in Christ. Have you been placed in him, dear friend? Has it ever, ever dawned on you that you were placed in Christ, into Christ, and Christ was in you? Where does Christ come into you? He comes into you in your psychic part, your spiritual part. That's where Christ is. He comes into the part where you thought it was me. The part you thought was me is what Christ has come into so that it is no longer you. It's him. It's us, Christ and me, me and Christ. We're one. We've become one. He that is joined to the Lord is one spirit. So we're joined to the Lord in this regard. We've been baptized into his self, himself, placed in Christ and Christ in us. I would give my life if the true gospel had been preached that we were baptized into Christ. 
Instead, a religious world today is determined to get you baptized in water by the preacher, not by the Holy Spirit, not by Christ, but by the preacher into the doctrine, baptized into the church, baptized into the service that you're going to sh share in the church. I'd give anything in the world. I'd give my life if people have the same understanding that when they were saved, they were placed in Christ. But Paul says, placed into Christ by the word baptism. We were baptized into Christ. Some people come along and say, well, where did you get this message that Christ lives in us? I was baptized into Christ, placed in him, immersed in him. He came into my spiritual life and he took over. He is the real me to the Heavenly Father. You get that? Even not. It's still in the book. Whether you get it or not, it's still in the Word. Now, it may not be in the Scriptures, for the Scriptures are radically changing, but it is in the Word of God. If you've got a Bible, you can say it's the Word of God, and men have not changed it. You're well off. But in the Word of God, when we got saved, we were placed in, baptized in to Jesus Christ. You say, well, I didn't know that. Of course not. It's not preached. Not preached. The modern preacher took hold of these things in Romans 6. He had them all changed. He'd tap dance on them. He'd never give you the answer. He didn't know an answer. We were baptized into Jesus Christ. But that's not what all it meant. That's not what it's all about. You were baptized into Christ because God had to get you into his death. If you listen to me for a very long time, I will tell you that your old life died with Christ. How did you get into Christ? You were baptized into Christ. You were baptized specifically in this verse into his death. There's no such thing as a sinner saved that doesn't have death to come to their old life. There's no such thing. If they didn't know and understand that, God still could have done it and they could have learned it in time. But you're not saved until you've had this death. What's in the death? Me. It's no longer mine. No longer I that liveth. It's Christ that lived in me. So in the death is me. The world. I've died to the world. The devil. I'm dead. He likes to work on a dead man. He's a fool. He's not going to do anything to a dead man. I could go on and on. Know ye not that so many of us as were baptized into Jesus Christ. Now, water baptism doesn't take care of this. I guess that's my important point to make. So many of us were baptized into Christ were baptized into his death. So 
So that our salvation is based on his death, burial, and resurrection. That's what Paul says in another place. Our relationship to God is based on death, burial, and resurrection. That's what it's all about. That's what God is doing. That's how God is working these days. Death, burial, and resurrection. Well, I'll get back on this subject. My time is up, and I'll be back soon. God love you.